Hello, Taurus. Hello, hello. Welcome to your March love reading. There will be a second one, actually, the way that I'm pacing these. So look forward to that. Also, I'm Amber. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome. I'm pulling more cards than usual now. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's just how it goes. Okay. So, Taurus, let's get into this. Taurus, love energy from March. Wow. Fell out. Worth waiting for. Release your ex. Um, Know that there is much better out there for you than what you've had in the past. You don't have to keep connecting with the ex. You don't have to keep dealing with them. You just don't have to, you know. There is definitely more out there for you, you know, and it's time to do that. Um, it, it almost feels to me like the next person that you're going to deal with will be much better than this other person. Um, for those of you in relationships, I'm getting something weird. So, I almost feel like you're connecting with someone else. In a deep way. And trying to decide what to do with the person that you have. That is definitely a story for somebody. Um, let's pull some archetype cards. Yeah. <laughs> um... You have much love in your heart. It could be that the relationship that you're in, you're not able to express that the way that you would like to. Uh, and you're expressing that with someone else. Or you need to realize as a single person that there is something out there for you. You just have to be open to like the magicalness of love. As weird as that sounds. Um, but it's like, yeah, a bad, I could have had a bad relationship and that's terrible but there's someone else out there better for me okay on this other side we have bully in reverse and it's like whoever you were dealing with um this is interesting but it feels like you got used to negativity in a way that you shouldn't have to in any type of relationship um like you've gotten used to the bad parts more than you should have, okay? And that's why, A, you're either finding happiness in someone else or something else, or you're moving on, okay, as a single person. So we're going to do thoughts. Thoughts, feelings, and emotions. We start with thoughts and then feelings and emotions, okay? All right, Taurus. I don't know why I can't put these cards straight. Like, it's not hard. <laughs> but I can't seem to do it. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely feeling like you're not getting enough from your partner or from your last partner. Okay. And the structure on what that, on what you feel like relationships sh should be built on is falling apart with a partner um either the old one or this one that you currently have okay yeah it's feeling superficial and you want something more steady uh, and not that it you know because it could be that you've gotten stuck in a routine but it doesn't feel like it's growing it's just stuck in a routine but it looks like something else has your attention here, Taurus. What in the heck? Yeah, you're seeing like the way that this relationship was or is going that it, it is not going in a good direction, you know? Um, but I still do believe that you you believe in longevity and you believe in... 
making things work, which is why you probably stayed for so long. Um, but I feel like you're craving, yeah, you're craving something else, something more emotionally fulfilling, f fulfilling, and you're getting a taste of like moving on with your emotions. That's what I feel like, um, something has awoken you emotionally. Hmm. Yeah, your person's going in this new direction. Or this could just be you going in a new direction. Um, and seeing that it's not, it wasn't going to work with this person or you're not being really good friends, okay? What's interesting about your person is they don't know how to... They're getting angry instead of being open and receptive. And that's not making it easy. That's not making it better for you to make a decision to work harder for them or with them. It's making it easier for you to walk away, actually. Um, it's like building to that. Um, I feel like it's their mindset because in their mind, they're trying to like, keep you around or start something new but at the same time they have a high pride level and they're not working with you they're not working to build they're not working out of emo like emotional care it's more about how I feel how this me 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 and not us but they're very very worried about the future and what's going to happen, but they're not attempting to make it better, which is interesting. They're taking a different approach. And your Taurus, you're really thinking about your future. I feel like you want to be emotionally happy. Um, you're leaning more towards going in that, I want to be emotionally happy. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be frustrated. I just want to be happy. Okay. So feelings. Not that you're a creature of habit, but you get really connected to things. Um, the problem is I, f I feel like you've either built something with this person or you have like kids with them or a home or a business, something of that nature. Um, and that's kind of what keeps you grounded to them. Um, and to you, Taurus, your money plays a role in your emotions that sounds weird but if you're broke you're not going to be happy you know if you don't have a focus career-wise you're not going to be happy as well but you've you're <laughs> slowly you're getting out of that mental state which is interesting and you're a little bit confused emotionally because I feel like the steadiness or, you know, like being in a relationship with this person for a long time, giving them the benefit of the doubt, things like that are not working anymore. Okay. It's almost like you're listening to their words and how they make you feel. You're listening to their words and being like, if somebody is mad at you and they say they hate you, you're like, wait, does this person really hate me? You know? Not that they're they're coming out of a negative place, but at the same time, words are powerful as well, you know? Um, I feel from you, Taurus, you're doing less of the benefit of the doubt with your partner or with pe people because of what has happened in the past, depending on your situation. I need to clarify a lot here. Yeah, what was holding you down before is not really working now. You're paying attention to this person's words and how they're doing things in their thinking process. And it doesn't make sense to you. 
And if it doesn't make sense to you, you feel like it doesn't have a direction. Everything's kind of up in the air. You don't like that. That's what triggers you to feel emotionally about something. That's what I feel like is happening here or was happening here. So this person really wants to figure out why you all broke up or why there's an issue. But at the same time, they want to look like they're in control or they're right uh, instead of trying to fix the situation. Um, So they're trying to go about a route where they don't have to sacrifice. They don't have to renege on anything that they said before. You know, they just want to kind of like move on from things and have you tell them that they were right. Okay. Which is not going to (laughs) work. It's not going to work. They're they're way into their emotions about things. They do care about you. They do love you. But they're, they're trying to like possess your feelings of things instead of working with you as a team almost. So... Yeah, their whole idea is just to move on from this. Um, It's like they just don't want to deal with it. So they're trying to find out a way where you two can like work together. So everything that you probably throw at them, they have a reason or excuse for or they had that. And they feel like by debunking everything that you're bringing to them, It'll help you go in a different direction or it'll squash the issue and you can move forward. Yeah. Okay. So actions. Yeah, I feel like you don't you don't feel heard here. Um, you, you like, I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I feel like you want to be with a person that kind of understands you where things are easy going and has some sort of flow to it. And you're not feeling like this person is understanding you regardless of how long you were together or are together. You're just not feeling it. Some of you are feeling that with somebody else and it's making you question things. Okay. Um, but you're a steady person. You're not going to jump into anything, but it is important to you that you're feeling it. Okay. So I feel like you're more in your head in March, Taurus. Less action, more in your head. Thinking, processing, figuring out what's going on. What's the easiest way to fix this or to uh, disengage? You don't really know what you want to do. You're kind of taking this time to listen to your heart, to heal what's going on in this situation Um or to just move on to the next. You're going to do whatever you need to do to have a peaceful, loving existence, right? You're going to forgive whatever and move on, or you're going to follow it wherever your heart wants to take you. I feel like you're opening up more to your heart because you're seeing how important it actually is um, to love, to care, to be compassionate. These are things that are important. Um, yeah, a lot of it is because you don't want to mess up the business or the relationship or the family or the life that you've been together. Um, but at the same time, I feel like you don't want that to hinder you as an individual or your growth or who you are just because you have like strong morals and values. So You are digging deep in listening to what you need for yourself and not just perceived what it is that you need. Yeah. So you're thinking about your relationships um, and how, you know, because what you feel was steady for you in the past may not work for you now or in the future. Things change. People change. The will of fortune wanted to come out, right? Right. So things change, people change, you have different feelings, you go through different shifts in life. It really depends, right? 
So you're going through this situation now towards where you want to follow your heart. And that's going to cause you to be a little bit impulsive or to be attracted to someone, I don't know, younger or more active or whatever that is, you know, but it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to act on it. Yeah, I feel like for those of you in relationships, relationships mean something to you. And just because it's not going the way that you want doesn't mean that you're going to be impulsive. But I do feel like something has kind of intruded that, whether that's in your mind or another person. Okay. So on the other side of the fence. This person is trying to clear things up with you, or they did. Um, try to do that. But this is current actions. Someone's trying to clear something up with you. And it's really based on the fact that they don't want to lose you. But they're not doing it in a way that's productive. They're not doing it in a way that's balanced. It's more like... Look at all the things I'm going through. You should stop because I don't feel happy. You know, it's it's more like that. Um, yeah, it definitely is about their happiness, their focus, getting things in a way that makes them happy. They do have a sense that there needs to be a new beginning. I don't feel like they're oblivious to that. But I do feel like they can't say their fault in things yeah they're not seeing their fault what they're seeing is you what you're doing wrong yeah they feel like, oh, Taurus isn't giving me the recognition that I deserve. This could be a person that's talking bad about you behind your back as well. Um, Taurus isn't giving me all the attention that I need. It's like they're creating a conflict. So when things do hit the fan or because they have hit the fan, they can act like, oh, see, I told you. It's like they're setting up for failure before the failure even happened right? Which is causing a quicker downfall. Um, but the big meaning that they're giving me for you, Taurus, is that you're fine. <laughs> like you're doing really good. You're noticing things in your emotions and situations. It does create conflict. Yes, because any change creates conflict. But they're not helping. They're almost making it worse because they don't want to. It's like you're going through a spiritual little moment here. And they're like, I got to do everything I need to do to, to fix it, but not really fix it. So let's pull some more Oracle cards here. Hopefully they'll get it together because this just looks like a mess, you know. It's like they're not willing. They're not ready to deal with real life almost. Mm. It makes me feel some type of way. We have forgiveness. That's what we're working on. So that's the problem in this relationship or in this issue, in this relationship is that no one can, you know, and it's not that you don't want to forgive them, Taurus, okay? It's just that you want to know if something isn't right so you can deal with it. And there's a different feeling to this of, if we can fix it, let's fix it. But if we can't, then we can't, you know, it's a very straightforward here, but you're not getting any assistance in trying to figure that out. So it's almost like you have to figure it out on your own because this person just won't say, oh, well, I may have done this or I've done this wrong or I don't listen to you as much as I should. I'll work on that. It's more like, well, you don't speak up enough for me to listen, you know? And that's not helpful at all. Okay. So then we have be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So this is telling you 
to keep trying uh, with this person to see uh, if you're in a relationship with someone, okay, um, it looks like they're going through their own little shift and, and you both can't do it at the same time. Sometimes one person has to trigger the other and that's fine, but they're being very defensive right now, which makes it hard, but just keep trying to be there for them and be helpful. Um, it doesn't mean that you need to stop paying attention to your feelings and how you feel about something. For those of you who are single, um, it looks like dating's going to be a little rough in March or meeting people. Okay. Um, but know what you want in a relationship. Okay. Keep your heart open. Yeah. Listen to other perspectives, but if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Okay. That's another thing to realize as well. Forgive that person. Don't take that energy with you to the next one, but you know, just know that sometimes it is what it is. Okay. I love you, Taurus. Sorry that was all over the place. I feel like I got a whole bunch of different messages. So I will say pick and choose what resonates with you. Okay. So I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.